Good Sunday evening, everybody. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee. I'm meteorologist Austin Onick. It's been a interesting weekend with the temperatures all over the place. And as of right now, looking at some fairly cool and windy conditions as our latest storm system plows on through the southeastern United States. We'll take a look at that, where that's going, and what impact we're going to be seeing out of that coming up here in just a little bit. This is our video weather blog, Weather Overtime. Don't forget to download our News Channel 3 video video app information for, again, keeping track of weather on the go in the Mid-South area and points beyond. If you've never been here before, again, this is our opportunity to let you know what's going on with the weather. We cover North Mississippi, West Tennessee, and Eastern Arkansas with Memphis, Tennessee, right smack dab in the middle right there. More information about our forecast, check out all the details at WREG.com slash weather. Visit us on our social media websites. Or, again, if you can't stick around for the whole thing, forecast scrolling along in the blue bar at the bottom of your screen, and we'll keep you updated with what's going on with the forecast. We will be on time tonight. NFL did not run over, so join us for a complete update in just about two hours on News Channel 3 at 10. We'll have updates again for you coming up into the rest of the week, which, if you have not heard so far, is going to be rather on the mild side over the next several days, right on in through Christmas. We'll have that holiday for you in just a little bit. Doing some start Stargazing tonight, a meteor shower is peaking. It's a minor one. It's the Ursid meteor shower, and it's going to be toward the Big Dipper. The only trouble is we've got lots of cloud cover out there, so chances of uh, seeing anything tonight very much on the slim side. So online astronomy is going to be your best bet, including the Boeing Starliner successful landing that happened earlier today. You can check out more about that from NASA. And of course, their astronomy picture of the day. Search for that. Great opportunity to see what's going on on the ISS as well. But vi stargazing visibly out there with this overcast skies and cloud cover and the showers sticking around for parts of the Mid-South. Don't think we're going to be seeing too much of anything else in the way of major amounts of problems out there from heavy amounts of rainfall. Elizabeth Johnson Jackson, the Cowboys lost. Well, as long as the Chiefs won, that's just fine by me, so sorry about that for right now. Uh, Peggy Shelby from Ashland, Mississippi. Well, just one fur baby, and she's probably asleep on my side of the bed right now. If Melissa Onik checks in, we'll have to see if we can get a picture of that posted on here. If you're going to be uh, around for the uh, rest of the forecast, drop your location and your weather reports into the comments section, and we'll read some of those off as we go on through. Lows tonight, again, back in the lower 40s, brisk as we head into tomorrow morning and early tomorrow afternoon. That's when the dry air really takes over and gets rid of the cloud cover. So we should see some very mild temperatures into Monday and also, again, seeing the possibility of some clearing skies into tomorrow evening. And if this is too cold for you, stick around because we've got some very mild conditions coming our way into the rest of the forecast. We'll talk more about that in just a little bit. 13 hundredths of an inch of rain today. And again, if everything goes according to schedule, and I think we just pick up a fraction of an inch more in the next few days, according to the National Weather Service, this will be the fifth wettest season for the Mid-South area for the entire year. This could be a record-breaking year for the Mid-South, considering we're 20 inches almost over for the entire year. So that's a decent surplus to have, to say the least, on there. Light rain in West Helena, Arkansas. Willie Combs, hope I'm saying that right. Thank you very much. Uh, for that one, Merry Christmas and happy other holidays out there. Happy Hanukkah to those who are celebrating for tonight out there as well. So thank you very much for joining us for that. 52, the high temperature today, and that was very close to our normal of 51. 48 and soggy conditions on the Ole Miss campus tonight as the rainfall is a lot heavier over northern Mississippi for this evening. Drizzle keeping the roadways wet around West Memphis, Arkansas tonight. Looking at the 4055 junction, you're looking north toward Missouri here across the junction, traffic fairly light for a Sunday evening and moving along at this point in time, so not seeing too much of a major problem out there for travel and temperatures again well above freezing, so no frozen precipitation coming down lower 50s for right now. Uh, Verita, Verita, hope I'm saying that right, Ingram praying for a snow white Christmas uh, in the Mid-South, hate to tell you, but statistically we have a less than 10% chance per year of getting that. 
And this year, that's pretty much goose eggs across the board. We'll talk about the seven-day forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Light rain in McNary County, Selmer. Don Marie Harris, thank you very much uh, for that one. Traveling tonight, again, a couple of caveats out there for this evening. We're not seeing a major problem at Memphis International Airport. Delays of 15 minutes or less, so no problems with arrival or departure delays here. But LAX and San Francisco International are seeing some pretty heavy delays delays due to winds slamming on shore from the west coast with a storm system moving its way on through there. So if you're catching a red eye tonight and you're heading to the west coast, LAX, San Diego, uh, back up towards San Francisco, could be looking at some slowdowns out there. So keep that in mind if you're going to be traveling late tonight by air. Rest of the country looks pretty good on this what was one of the busiest travel days leading up to the thick of the holiday season coming on through. Now rainfall chances with this next storm system coming on through the area. <clears throat> excuse me, travel into tonight and early tomorrow morning from Miami up into the Carolinas. Could be some very heavy amounts of rainfall, including 10 inches plus in parts of the coastal areas and maybe about 5 inches plus down to around Alligator Alley and back to the areas close to Miami. The rest of the, the southern United States, more rain, more wet roadways out there as this storm system makes its way across the southeast U.S. Winds again swirling around this system which is giving some pretty breezy conditions out there, and that's leading to some wind advisories taking place down into Alabama and Georgia. Here in the Mid-South, we still have rain on Storm Tracker 3S radar, but we don't have much of anything else in the way of problems, especially north of I-40, light drizzle, patchy fog, south of Memphis and I-40. That's where the heaviest amount of rainfall is taking place right now, with a pretty thick band from around Ripley, Mississippi, all the way back up to south of Jackson. That's rotating back to the west, but that's moving into very dry air. So whether or not this makes it all the way to the metro area is a little iffy at this point in time. But again, we'll still see some chances of rain out there. And especially south of I-40, southeast Arkansas, southwest Tennessee, northern Mississippi, that's going to be your best possibility of rainfall as we go into and around the area for right now. Salisbury, Tennessee, Tony Bynum, cold with light rainfall. Thank you very much uh, for checking with that weather report on there and uh, everybody else for checking on through for right now. Julie Schaefer voting for no snow. Okay, that's one vote. That's a not a common sentiment out there. A lot of people want the snowfall and the rain and the cold weather out there and not be having that anytime soon for right now. Cold in Clarksdale. Charlotte D. Pryor, welcome to the show. Thanks for the weather report there. The storm system, again, is causing problems from the Mississippi Valley all the way across the southeast U.S., so traveling tonight or very early tomorrow morning, this is where you could be seeing some problems out there. Now, here in the Mid-South, it's very mild temperatures just below their highs in the lower 50s, and those winds, again, out of the north, usually that would be doing a very good job of dropping the temperatures, but because that air is coming in around that storm system from the east coast. This is actually very mild air coming on through from the Gulf, the east coast, and the Carolinas, so it's not all that cold out there, nor are we expecting much of anything else to be that cold throughout the course of the next couple of days. The jet stream going way up into Canada, and through the rest of the evening, again, chances of showers will be sticking around, mainly south of I-40. Again, you could see some drizzle throughout the rest of the area tonight. Back to work tomorrow, not back to school as most of the semesters have ended at this time. Showers starting to dwindle, heading out of the picture, but Jackson to Corinth to Tupelo down to Oxford, you might see some leftover drizzle and clouds covered there. The dry air really starts to take over as we get into tomorrow afternoon and evening and should be looking at clear skies tomorrow, so hopefully some better news for stargazing as we go into Monday night. Maybe some leftover Ursid meteor showers out there and dry and mild tomorrow Tomorrow, even with the northerly winds, temperatures will be quite nice out there in the upper 50s to lower 60s. And if that doesn't grab you because it's too cold, stick around. We'll talk more about that coming up here in just a second. Cold with rain in South Haven, Alonzo McClinton. Thank you very much for that weather report. Rain from Batesville, Vera Davis. Thank you very much for that one. Uh, Beverly Duke voting for no snowfall. Very well. Thank you very much for that. Cold and rain in Eden, Mississippi. Scotty Grace. Uh, light sprinkle, Jake B. Shore the Fourth. Hope I'm saying that right. Shelby Farm, Starry Nights. Thank you very much uh, for checking in from out east. Haven't had a chance to go out there just yet. Seven-day forecast again, starting with tomorrow. Looking at numbers 
pretty close to where they were today, maybe just a little bit warmer out there, back in the lower 60s, and starting off with cloudy skies, maybe some leftover drizzle very early in the morning to about maybe a 30% chance, but that's going to be about it, and then clearing skies as that dry air takes over. Christmas Eve, even warmer conditions as the jet stream stays well to our north, lower 60s and a variation between partly to mostly cloudy, back and forth on that, but no interruptions from rain, snow, thunderstorms, anything else dry across the area. Good news for getting out to those late church services or wherever you may be going with family. So no problems with inclement weather there. Getting into Christmas itself, how about mid-60s for high temperatures with again partly to mostly cloudy skies across much of the area. Way above normal for this time of the year, about 15 degrees above normal as we go into Christmas. And if that's not warm enough for you, how about near 70 degrees by the time we hit Thursday? Looking at numbers again, very much on the mild side. Going to be seeing a bit of a change taking place as a storm system, a bit of a dip in the jet stream starts to pull on through as we go toward next weekend. So by Saturday into Sunday, last weekend of the year, we'll be looking for some more chances of showers, but too warm for anything, but just plain rainfall out there. And then as we get into and around the area toward New Year's, that is where we see the temperatures again, a little cooler, upper 40s by next Monday. For New Year's Eve during the day, temperatures close to normal back in the lower 50s. For New Year's Eve out and about in the Mid-South, we're looking at temperatures again chilly, but not exactly bone-jarring cold as it has been out there with numbers back in the mid to upper 30s. And New Year's Day, again, getting out for, again, some celebratory appetizers or whatever else you're doing with your friends and family on New Year's Day into 2020. Pretty close to normal on temperatures, so again, pretty stable as we head toward the end of the year for the most part out there. So La Kiva, Michelle, any snow in the forecast? Not in this forecast, that's for certain. Not looking, it's just too way warm for anything but rainfall uh, into and around the area for right now. Wayne Naren, uh, raining in Atanlia. Atanlia, never been there before, but thank you very much uh, for checking in there. Cold and rainy in Hernando, Michelle Harper, thank you very much, and a Merry Christmas back to you as well. And Ekru, Mississippi, rainy, Tommy Robbins, thank you very much for checking in with that weather report. So if you like warm weather, and a lot of you do, I know that, again, this is going to appeal to a lot of you out there. If you're looking for the snowfall, again, statistically, we have a very poor chance of getting a white Christmas here in this area of the country at this time of the year. It's possible, but it's just not likely. 10% chance or less is what we see from the Mid-South. If you have any questions about that, the statistics are available from the National Weather Service in Memphis on their main page. Go to weather.gov, click on the Mid-South area, and you can find out about the mathematics of finding out about a white Christmas in the Mid-South area. Pretty fascinating when you take a look at it, so give it an opportunity to see what goes on there. James R. Gulledge taking a look at some of the fauna from around the Humboldt, Tennessee area earlier this week when it chilled off last week. Tank Boy 925, a nice view from Midtown, some wispy cloud cover mixed in with some of the full moon about a week or so ago. Thank you very much for that. B. Nassel, a nice view from Sunrise from earlier this week. I believe this is around mostly around the area of Rosemark, Tennessee, if I'm not mistaken on that. So thank you very much there. And from Nice Guy and all-around amazing violinist Jonathan Chu, who has more talent in his little finger than I will ever have in my entire life, a uh, violinist with the band Skillet. If you've never had a chance to hear him before, good opportunity to do so. Catching some of the snowflakes from his East Memphis home with his wife and daughters over there, friends of the Onik family. And again, a good opportunity to see more about what the weather's doing out there. So thank you, Mr. Chu, uh, for that one. If you've got weather pictures, we'd love to see them and show them, as we just did here for a lot of people. Again, more of them out there. We try to forward them to social media as often as possible. So if you've got pictures, we'd love to see them and show them to everybody. Problem is, we can't do that if you don't send them in. So if you've got them, please send them in. and We'd like to be able to show you a little bit more about what your neighbors are seeing out there. So again, if you'd like to drop by my social media websites, be glad to have you along for that. Or do the, the old-fashioned way. Hard to believe we're thinking about email as old-fashioned, but drop me a line at austin.onic at wreg.com. We would love to have you along for the ride to see what else is going on out there. Time of the year where, again, you see a lot of tearful reunions as a lot of servicemen and women come home for the holidays, but 
The sad fact is that a lot of servicemen and women cannot come home for the holidays. So over the next several days, keep it tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll be bringing you updates about whether where the troops are at various locations around the world. South Korea, looking at this for right now, temperatures in the 30s and 40s. That should be early Monday morning, not Tuesday. Apologies for that. And looking at mostly cloudy skies south of the DMZ, all the way down to southern parts of South Korea. We'll feature more of these coming up in just a little while as we go into my forecast page. That'll be at about a quarter till nine on my Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter pages as we take a look around the world to see what the weather's like. If you've got friends, family, or loved ones stationed someplace, let me know. Give me a general idea where they are. If there's an American fort or base that they're stationed at, we'll give you the closest weather to them. Totally free information not lending aid or comfort to the enemy at all. This weather is purely publicly available, and we'll show you how to get it so you can keep track as to what's going on with the home front weather, as well as keeping it track around the world. Again, that'll be coming up at 845 on my Facebook, Periscope, and Twitter pages, Weather Where the Troops Are, so you can keep up to date with what's going on there. Other weather updates, join the weather experts at wreg.com slash weather uh, for more information into and around the area. And again, keeping you as updated as possible out there with what's going on. Speaking of which, one last look at the weather for overnight. There will be chances of showers up until about daybreak. Lingering showers possible after that, but dwindling throughout the rest of the day. Decently chilly tomorrow morning. Numbers dropping a little bit more into the mid to upper 40s. And then trying to clear the skies out a little bit as we go into early tomorrow. So we'll get some sunshine. It's just going to take most of the rest of the day to actually get to that point in there. Thanks to everybody for tuning in with your weather reports. I do appreciate that. Thanks to everybody sending in those pictures. Love to have those in as well. And again, stay tuned for more with a complete update on News Channel 3 at 10. We'll have updates there. And Todd Demers will be back tomorrow morning with an update on News Channel 3 Daybreak. That'll be starting at 4.30 tomorrow morning. I'll be filling in for Tim Simpson tomorrow night since he filled in for me as I was able to go to my wife's Christmas party with Bartlett City Schools IT Group. And thanks to Mr. Simpson for filling in for me, but I'll be filling in for him on Monday as thanks for filling in for me on Saturday, so do appreciate that. Credit where it's due, just trying to make certain, again, everybody uh, knows a little bit more about that. More details on your forecast, again, wreg.com slash weather, or find us again on social media. We're out there just pretty much all over the place, or at least I am anyway, so give us a, shot, a shout out, and we'll be glad to talk to you around out there, especially if you have any weather pictures, would love to see those. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thank you for joining us tonight on Weather Overtime. More coming up tonight on News Channel 3 at 10. Join us then, and stay safe out there with those wet and rainy roadways across the Mid-South.